It started when I was teaching Shakespeare and I was aware that I wasn't teaching Shakespeare to the best of my ability, but I didn't know how to teach better. I wanted to teach better, but I fell into the trap of teaching the plays as books, standing behind my desk and talking to rows of students. My research is based at Shakespeare's Globe in London, actually in the education department. They have a programme every year, which they've now done for 13 years, um, where they put on a production of a play, a Shakespeare play, specifically for secondary school students. So I've gone into four schools in London to ask the students there what they think about the production at Shakespeare's Globe um, and whether it helps them with their study of Shakespeare in school. And it's been really good to ask the students for their opinions because there's very little research which focuses on the students, most of it focuses on the teachers. I went into four different state secondary schools in London. Each of them was in a different London borough to just try and get some flavour of the difference of schools in London. Three from inner city boroughs and one from an outer London borough. One was quite middle class, one had a nearly 90% English as additional language proportion of students there. Um, lots of variations in poverty. I was trying to capture a snapshot of what is happening in London schools. So the variety was really important for me. What's been really interesting is that in the literature, everyone assumes that teenagers hate Shakespeare. Some of them do, but some of them love it. And that's even before seeing it performed at the theater. And they've got really interesting things to say about why. Some of them can see direct parallels with their own lives, even though these plays are over 400 years old. And what's also been interesting is that a lot of them have a very fixed idea of what Shakespeare at the theatre should be. Old fashioned costumes, dark and dreary. And when they see it, they don't quite believe that this is Shakespeare. That it's in contemporary dress, it's got newly written music for it. Um, it's very much updated to be relevant to them. And they are just so enthusiastic. I've had students say, this has made me feel like putting more effort into studying Shakespeare in future. Unexpectedly, the key message is about inclusion. Because the tickets are free, because this is something provided to schools, every student can go. And that's very unusual with school trips. And I'm really interested in pursuing that line of thought and looking at other school trips and how schools make them inclusive when that external funding isn't there. And that's not something I expected to find. I expected it to be much more focused on the Shakespeare and the theater. But actually, these kids have got an opportunity that otherwise they wouldn't have. I've been really inspired by the students that I've spoken to. I found that they are articulate, that they are really keen to express their opinions and that they have really interesting things to say. I once heard someone speak about there are no voiceless people, there are only the preferably unheard. And I don't know where he got that quote from, but I think our students in secondary schools are unheard, that we choose not to listen to them. And it's been an absolute joy and a pleasure to go and speak to them. And it's reinvigorated my love of working in schools.